Hello everyone and welcome back to Deersley. During the summer I have been working off and on on my railway. I'm going to produce this uh, quick update to show you what I've done both on uh, Deersley itself and on the town centre diorama. But to start I'm going to show you a small uh, clip I made uh, a month or two back following on from part three showing you some further ways you can use the pan scourers for creating flower beds and things. Here is a different way of producing um, flowers and flower beds from pan scourers. Uh, what I showed you last time was painting the scour with um, acrylic paint and then just cutting it to shape and it leaves you a sort of a thickness here which would represent the the stems and the leaves of the plants but there's a way of halving that at least halving it um, if you wanted a lower flower bed shorter stems and, and leaves and it's a fairly simple thing to do if you take the pan scour and you tease out a little split in it about halfway through. Gently you can pull this apart a little at a time until you've gone till you've pulled it all the way through. I'll just do this one quickly. And there you can see you've got a a much thinner flower bed. Which which helps, you know, for variety and things. It, it helps. So that's that. Obviously you can paint different coloured flowers onto your scours to give yourself a, a good variety of colour. And one other variation of the Pulling apart, ah, there it is, of the pulling apart is you can continue to pull this out of shape rather like Woodland Scenics to a product that you can open it out into sort of a very thin film of the, uh, the plant. And it doesn't matter if you split it. Um, the idea is to get raggedy edges which are, well, take the straightness of a cut edge so you get more of a natural, a natural look and you can thin it out such as it's quite transparent. If I put my hand behind that you should be able to see you know you should be able to see through that and then you can mount this vertically on walls like uh, climbing roses and climbing plants uh, you can work like that and it gives you uh, yet more variety you know um, there's a nicely teased out very thin bit there And you could uh, further cut, you know, small little small pieces of these to make individual uh, flower tubs and baskets and things. So all in all, um, a very flexible and inexpensive way of adding to the colour by putting flowers on your railway. Well, I hope you found that bit useful. Um, I'd like to move on now to the tractor shed, which was finished last time except for the weathering, and I did intend to video the weathering because I used uh, watercolour paints. This is a card model, and I found that uh, watercolour paints work quite effectively. I hope you can see from the still images here the uh, toning down and the streaking and staining on the wood 
the brickwork and uh, particularly on the roofs of the uh, shed itself and the little lean-to. Looking across at the buildings which are um, are printed flats of buildings that I arranged on a plain blue, blue background for my for the videoing I do where I change uh, the skies. I found an area behind the station that was always awkward both to modify at the uh, video stage and also visually there was an attempt in the printing of it to suggest distance but the colours and the tones weren't right for this and it always looked a bit awkward to me. So I've replaced it with a 1930s factory uh, print your own kit I downloaded from the internet and I've modified it so that it's thin enough to fit behind the station wall uh, or behind the railway wall and in front of the backdrop. So it's, n it's not a thin printed sheet uh, as the others are but it's actually got some 3D modelling on it. But this picture shows how, how cleanly um, I can separate this from the plain blue background and introduce a sky scene when I do a still or when I do a video. Some work has also been done on the electrical side of the railway. Firstly, a, a, a fairly simple job of fitting a fifth camera into my fiddle yard, uh, which gives me uh, both sections of my fiddle yard now full camera coverage, which is really great. The other area of modification is in the main control panel. Some time ago one of my subscribers pointed out that my up and down lines were the wrong, wrong way round. I have my approaches to Deersley and the uh, leaving from Deersley um, automatically linked with signals and it operates a route rather than each individual points and each individual signal. Uh, however, it's not proved too difficult to make this switch round except that I've got to rewire the panel which controls my signals. So it looks a bit of a mess and a bit of a nightmare, but when I get round to it, I shall, uh, I shall correct the connections to the signals so that they uh, display the right colour. But the main feature really is the town centre itself. So before I get on to the park, uh, I've started to put cappings on the wall that runs around this, um, the wall that separates the this part of the town uh, from the railway. I haven't completed this because I've got to put some buildings at the top end, but the end near the entrance to the park is finished. So on to the park itself. And first I'm going to show you the flower beds. Um, you can see on this shot where I've put some of the uh, new Panscara flowers. Um, these are the ones where I tease them out rather like the Woodland Scenics ones where I tease them out into a sort of web and then laid them in this case between uh, beds of flowers. The little flower beds themselves were um, bought from eBay, so I didn't make those, but I found the, um, the Panscara flowers fit round them nicely and help fill uh, the flower bed. Moving on from there, you can see the gates are painted and the whole of the perimeter fencing uh, for the park is now complete. The supports that um, are placed between the lengths of fencing, I decided to cap with uh, a one millimeter card. And I further decided I was going to put some, some sort of finial on top and uh, round concrete balls were uh, 
quite a useful decorative feature that's easy enough to do. I was initially going to put it just on the, uh, the su gate supports, the columns there, but decided to put it on all of them. These are in fact 6mm plastic beads um, and they have been painted with uh, white paint as is the cappings uh, so that they look okay. The final feature and the most important feature in the park is the War Memorial and I'm really pleased with the look of this. Um, it's now entirely finished and uh, uh, in place. So this is done. I'm really pleased, as I say, with the, uh, with the look of the memorial and it's a nice addition to the past. So at long last, after asking for a vote um, on what goes in this area, the area, apart from, I might put some waste bins in it and I've certainly got to put some people in it, is finished, I'm happy to say. I've actually managed to finish something this summer on my railway. I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching this uh, short update. I think in future I shall take uh, more still photographs. I find it easier and quicker to put together a short video like this. So thanks for watching and uh, if you're new to the channel please feel free to subscribe and like and comment in the normal way. If you're an existing subscriber thanks for your patience. I do appreciate it. And I will be producing some uh, more videos uh, shortly. So stay safe everybody and I'll see you next time.